Hello, so um, I'm Leon and today I want to share with you a story that happened when I was an exchange student in Warsaw. Um, so just during my fourth year, my senior year in university, I went to Warsaw as an exchange student for one year. And in the beginning, I was put into a school dormitory and it was a double room. I had a roommate who, is, who was from Poland. but um, the condition of the room was really bad and I really didn't like to share a room and share the same space with other people and my Polish roommate was not really friendly and he's like a few years older than me maybe he's think I'm childish or something but he just not he was not being friendly to me so um, it made me want to move out to find a, a room myself just outside a the school dormitory right so it was after about one month um, when I arrived in Poland that I started finding an apartment a single room in Warsaw alright so just um, after two month, two weeks of my um, journey of finding a, a room I found nothing because um, it is not the time when the room were released so um, it really took me a lot of effort to find the room and one day after I was so depressed and I've been finding the apartment for so long and didn't get anything someone called me on Facebook and he claimed that he was a landlord and he had a great offer for me. Okay, so um, because the room was located in the city center with a good transportation, it took only like five minutes to take me to um, my school, which is um, University of Warsaw. So um, he invited me to look at the house and I went to the place and Everything is nice, but um, I am a bit confused because the price, the, the rent is a bit too high. So I didn't, I couldn't decide at the moment, but the landlord, the landlord just asked me to make my decision that day, that night. So um, I really couldn't make a choice. So I called um, my friend, in Warsaw and I called my mom to help me decide. Alright, so after deciding for about one or two hours at, at his place, I tell, told him that I would rent the room. And he told me that we will sign, we, I will pay the deposit first, just that day. And I will sign the contract the next day. Right, it sounds weird, but the thing is that I have, um, like I found, I've been finding the room for like a month and all of my efforts were in vain. So, um, finally I got some good offer and I just paid the deposit without signing anything, any agreement or any contract first. Alright, so the next day he did, I went to his place to sign the contract. And to my surprise, the contract was handwritten. It's handwritten. Um, it is weird because um, all the contract um, I signed before was printed, and this one is handwritten. It is a bit strange, but I still sign it anyway. Um, but he he didn't want to get give give me the contract. He, he would like to keep it himself and he didn't write the same contract for me. Um, I still accepted it. Oh, I Now I think I was so stupid at the moment. But um, the next day, he didn't give, oh sorry, he didn't um, give me the key just after I signed the contract. I thought he would, but he didn't. Because he said that um, he doesn't have a spare key he only had one key and he'll, ha he'll have to make another one 
for me and that would be after two days all right so and i said yes to him um and later after two days he i asked him can he, could he give me the key to the room he said that he will be traveling to another city to take his exam because he he's also a um, student and he's not a polish he's from Kashmir or something or somewhere right it is weird and I started to get um get um suspicious and I called um the Taipei of office in Warsaw for some help like legal help um I was scolded in the beginning when I called the office and later they gave me um a number to a a lawyer in Warsaw that they have long cooperated with so I called him and I sent him the contract and after another two days he said that the contract was illegal it doesn't it's not valid so um I just decided to I want to um like cancel the contract with the landlord where he he didn't want to do it so later because um the lawyer I sent the contract to before was really expensive so I later turned to the lawyer in my school for help because it is for free so, um, and he also told me that um, the contract was not valid and he just accompanied, accompanied me to the place to see the landlord and to discuss whether or not can I get my deposit back and do not sign just cancel a contract and of course the landlord didn't accept the agreement and he said that the contract may be invalid but it is built the contract is was established on mutual trust or right, it's really weird and he also said that he didn't care about polish law so even if it, it is invalid i paid him and he will he'll be really unwilling and he refused to give my money back all right so i decided to take further legal action and i told him that night when we negotiated um all right so just after the next day in the morning he called me and said that he would like to after a night he would like to um give me back my money back but he won't give me um in full or well, i i just accept it anyway because i just want to get to get my money back and end the story so in the end i get my some of my money back and it was really um, a disappointing thing when you are alone and uh, in a foreign country, All right? So um, I wish you can maybe be more careful before you sign any contract. And that's it. Thank you.